means the financing of select schemes will be changed on a pilot basis from input based to result based. E codes for efficient administration of justice. Phase three of e codes projects will phase three of the e codes project will be launched with an outlay of seven thousand crores. FinTech services in India have been facilitated by our digital public infrastructure including Aadhaar, PM Jandan Yojana, Video, KYC, India Stack and UPI. To enable more FinTech innovative services, the scope of documents available in DigiLocker for individuals will be expanded. An entity DigiLocker will be set up for the use by MSMEs, large businesses and also charitable trusts. This will be towards storing and sharing documents online <coughs> securely whenever needed with various authorities, regulators, banks and other business entities. 5G services. 100 labs for developing applications using 5G services will be set up in engineering institutions. To realize a new range of opportunities, business models and employment potential, the labs will cover, among others, applications such as smart classrooms, precision farming, intelligent transport systems and healthcare applications. Lab-grown diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds is a technology and innovation driven emerging sector with high employment potential. These environment friendly diamonds which have optically and chemically the same properties as natural diamonds. To encourage indigenous production of LGD, lab-grown diamond seeds and machines, and to reduce import dependency, a research and development grant will be provided to one of the IITs for five years. To reduce the cost of production, a proposal to review the custom duty on LGD seeds will be indicated in part B of the speech. I come to the fifth priority, Honorable Speaker, sir, green growth. Honorable Prime Minister has given a vision for life or lifestyle for environment to spur a movement of environmentally conscious lifestyle. India is moving forward firmly for the Panchamrit, the net zero carbon emission by 2070 to usher in green industrial and economic transition. This budget builds on our focus on green growth. The recently launched National Green Hydrogen Mission with an outlay of 19,700 crores will facilitate transition of the economy to low carbon intensity, reduce independence on fossil fuel imports and make the country assume technology and market leadership in this sunrise sector. Our target is to reach an annual production of 5 MMT by 2030. Energy transition. This budget provides for 35,000 crores for priority capital investment towards energy transition and net zero objectives and energy security by Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. To steer the economy, to steer the economy on sustainable development path, battery energy storage systems with cap capacity of 4,000 MWH will be supported with viability gap funding. A detailed framework for pumped storage projects will also be formulated. Renewable energy evacuation. The interstate transmission system for evacuation 
and grid integration of 13 gigawatt renewable energy from Ladakh.